close your eyes and watch your breath. When you breathe in, notice where you feel the breath. When you breathe out, notice where you feel the breath. Does it feel comfortable? And by breath we hear just any movement in the body that's part of the breathing process. Wherever it's easy to stay focused, stay, put your attention right there. Try to be, make it comfortable as you can. This can mean changing the depth of the breath or the, how fast or slow it is, how heavy or light. Try to find what breathing feels best for the body right now, because the mind needs its own inner refuge like this. We spend all our time focusing on things outside. And don't take care of what's inside. It turns out what's going on inside has a lot more problems than the things outside. We've got greed, aversion, and delusion. They're like diseases in the mind. And these are the diseases that we just kind of let fester for a long period of time. If it were a disease in the body, it would have killed them, the body, a long time ago, this kind of disease. But they just keep coming back, coming back, and we've got these little germs inside us. And then we pick up things from other people. They say things that we really like, and they, do, they look in ways that we really like, and then we find that lust suddenly becomes a disease in our own mind. Or they say something really nasty, and then anger becomes a disease. All kinds of diseases can flourish this way. And partly it's because of things coming in from outside, but a lot of it's because we have this tendency toward the disease inside to begin with. We don't have any resistance to our own inner diseases, so we can't resist things coming in from outside. So the mind needs a place, one where it can rest and get away from other people for a while, and then two where it can get away from its own inner diseases and step back from them and say, do I really want to go along with that? This is why it's so important to have this place inside that you nurture it, that you develop it, you try to carry it around with you or wherever you go. That way you have your resistance to the disease outside, especially this time of year. It's in the physical level, it's a time of the weather, weather changes and people get physical diseases, but it's also this, this holiday season is one of the most stressful parts of the year. You have to deal with a lot of people you ordinarily don't see and a lot of situations you ordinarily don't go into. And it's going to be difficult not to get pick up mental diseases from other people as well. So try to have this inner observer really clear, really solid. So as things come in, you can decide, is this something I want to really take in or should I let it go? Otherwise you find yourself taking in all kinds of diseased food, food just all kinds of germs on it, and then it gets into your own system. And then you wonder why you're suffering. Well, it's because your inner system is just so willing to take these things on. You've got to learn how to de develop some inner resistance here. So that no matter what kind of germs there are outside, your body doesn't pick them up and it's not affected by them. That way you can live in the world and not suffer. Without this ability, you're just subject to anything that comes by. So for your own protection, try to create this sense of an inner sanctuary, this inner refuge that protects you from all the d diseases that are going around right now. And particularly the diseases going around, the potentials for diseases going around in your own mind. If you take care of those, then the diseases outside don't really matter. So try to develop this beachhead inside. This is your safe place inside. Make sure that at least this part of your mind doesn't get diseased.